Do you think you've mastered emergency medicine? Let's put your knowledge to the test. Which of the following correctly lists the components of the QSOFA score and their respective cutoff values for identifying patients at risk of poor outcomes from sepsis? So in the ED, we use the QSOFA, where the Q stands for quick. The QSOFA is very easy to remember. It's only got three parameters. Altered mental status, which is defined as a GCS of anything less than 15. Tachypnea, which is defined as a respiratory rate greater than 22. And hypotension, which is defined as a systolic blood pressure of less than 100. If you have any two of these three criteria in the setting of an infection, you have an increased risk of death or prolonged hospitalization. This is a clinically validated tool that reliably predicts who's going to do well and who's not going to do as well in the setting of infection. So it's very useful for us for prognosticating in the emergency department setting.